It took records management specialist Joanne McCoy two and a half years to find a job. Because people with disabilities, they kind of like put you on the back burner. Like, okay, no, I need somebody more qualified for this position because your disability. But this job, they opened their arms up to me. McCoy, who struggles with a disability, finally landed a job at Hudson Community Enterprises, a nonprofit that provides jobs to people with disabilities. People with disabilities are still not being fully engaged, fully employed in the community and the workplace. And that's something that we're trying to change. Over the years, the Kessler Foundation provided more than $1 million in grants to Hudson Community Enterprises, along with similar nonprofits throughout the country. And they partnered with companies like Office Max, Lowe's, and PepsiCo to train, hire, and retain workers with disabilities. Just 17.6% of persons with a disability were employed in 2013, whereas 64% without a disability were employed. And eight in 10 persons with a disability were not in the workforce in 2013, versus three in 10 without a disability. Many times labels are placed on people with disabilities. It's almost as though there's a sign on them that says, I'm not capable of doing this job. And it's just the opposite of that. Louise Stevens-Gwen, who's been with Hudson Community Enterprises for the past five years, is HIV positive. I'm not planning on leaving. In order for me to leave here, they're going to have to literally take me and boot me out. <laughs> Hudson Community Enterprises has four businesses throughout the state, scanning, shredding, packaging, and building management. The nonprofit hires about 500 staffers. 80 of those employees are here in their Jersey City location. A lot of people who are suffering from whatever uh, disability they may have, this is a good place for them to have uh, an opportunity to establish a good future. I think we create a nurturing environment, one that, that welcomes people and one that emphasizes the things they can do versus the things that they can't do. Kessler Foundation's Roger DeRose says some solutions to moving the unemployment needle among the disabled population include teaching businesses that people with disabilities add value to the company, increasing the number of social enterprises, and working to ensure American companies create initiatives to hire and train thousands of disabled individuals. But DeRose insists within the next decade, the job outlook will change. We're going to see a real movement to hiring people with disabilities because there's going to be a huge shortage with baby boomers boomers uh, that are now retiring. Meantime, Joanne McCoy has no plans to retire anytime soon. She wants to keep working. In Jersey City, I'm Lauren Wonko, NJTV News.